Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Now, in the time of this mortal life in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Today is the first Sunday of Advent. It is often known as Hope Sunday. But where is the hope in our gospel today? In our gospel lesson, Jesus describes the dark and gloom of the apocalypse. Jesus says we will see signs of darkness. The people of Israel saw these signs, and there are signs of darkness today. Every generation has had predictions of the world coming to an end. Every generation can look at this passage and see signs of things happening right now. But perhaps this passage is not a prediction of the future, but a description of our current reality, a reality that we hope can fundamentally be changed. It is a message that first acknowledges that the world is broken, and it's not supposed to be like this. Maybe instead of looking at our gospel as a frightening message of the future end of the world, perhaps we can look at the world in its brokenness and acknowledge the pain and trauma of this world, but know that this is not the end of the story. Good news is coming. We have seen so much suffering. The pandemic has taken millions of lives. We live with an underlying anxiety of not knowing what lies ahead of us. We are divided politically, racially, and economically. The earth still groans with the devastating effects of global warming. We see natural disasters, fires, storms, and floods. The earth is still shaking today. But the good news is that the apocalypse does not mark the end of the world, but the beginning of a new one. Jesus tells us that when we see these awful things happening, to stand up straight, shoulders back, and lift our eyes, chin up, because things are changing. Things are going to get better. It will not be this dark or this hard forever. This too shall pass. Jesus says when we see awful things happening, do not lose heart, for the kingdom of God is near. Jesus says heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. And Jesus' words and his presence are still with us today, over 2,000 years later. And they give us hope. They give us light in the darkness, like a fig tree that starts to bloom during the dark months of winter to let us know that spring and summer are going to come. Advent is a time for watching, waiting, and preparing. It's what we do while we are waiting that matters. We can do nothing and wait for God to return and save us. We can take the attitude that we are on our own and have to fix things ourselves. Or we can decide that we can only trust ourselves to work out our destiny. Or we can do our part and join with Christ in preparing for God's kingdom and work to dispel the darkness now. We can work for peace and justice now. We can feed the hungry now. We can visit the lonely now. We can look for the broken pieces of the world, pick them up, and we can help heal the world now. We can be awake and alert. 
We can be on guard so that our hearts are not weighed down with the worries of this life. I think that is why we come to church each Sunday, especially during Advent, when the days are getting shorter and the darkness is getting longer. I think we come because we have hope, or at least we need hope in our days. I think we come to church especially during Advent because we cannot hope alone. We cannot do this life in dark times alone. We cannot see and witness the things we are called to do alone. We cannot have the kind of watchfulness and waiting required without each other. So we come together as a community of faith to watch and wait and pray, to encourage one another. We prepare and work to create the kind of place we want Jesus to return to. Together we look for signs of love and hope sprouting like buds on the fig tree. What do you hope for? And what are you waiting for? Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Now in the time of this mortal life in which your son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility. May God the Father bless you. May God the Son redeem you. May God the Holy Spirit sanctify you and bless you now and forever. Amen. <laughs>